Hey there everyone, it's the Michael here to um, play some game that I played way back when, back in the old DOS games of the game gaming, you know, back then in the days. I'm playing something by the ESD games and there's no sound for some reason. Um, we're gonna fix that little red wagon. Yeah, there we go. Oh, thanks for giving me an opportunity to uh, run the menu here. Um, right. This is a really old game, and it's also rather obscure. Let's play episode number one. I'm a wimp. This is, I swear, the only way that this game is actually playable. Um, starting mission number one. I, I'm recording this first thing in the morning because... You know, I just have the opportunity to do so. Anyways, this is Quiver. It's an old first-person shooter. And, um, it's full of dubious glitches and such that I'm actually going to point out along the road. Believe me, there's lots of it. Now, because this is not Doom, I'm going to play it like it is Doom and save a lot. Adventure Ho. And as a backup, this game will kill me. I tried recording this dubious amounts of times, and I seem to like the word dubious today. Okay, you can have up to 500 life if you want because um, this game is hard as balls. Um, okay, here we go. Here's the first enemy. Here's Johnny! <laughs> that was fun. Oh man, there's the candles and stuff. It's Actually, it's more like torches or whatever they are. It's, it's good lighting, especially when you have the time of day cheat code. Then it makes this look very laughable. Okay. I love that this guy saw me behind metal bars. Oh! Actually, before I go on, I better press this button. Okay. Um, go in here. Get some health in this blue key. A blue key. A generic blue key. They were very common in DOS games. Oh, these rooms are all over the freaking game. Pointless rooms that have nothing. Somebody go and keep count of how many rooms of them that are useless are in this game. Also, this music's so uninspired. It's just notes that anyone could come up with in like three seconds. Hey, buddies. Sup? Oh, you're both dead. Yes, there's two of them. This gun pushes you back. I don't want to waste it yet. Stick with the Fajita Maker, because that is such an original weapon. Well, it's original. But it's just random. The monsters are so... This is a weird game. Got a med kit. Press shift to run. Okay, now that we have like everything and basically looted this place, adventure ho! Uh, da -da -da -da. Yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna go and quickly show you something here. That opened this thing. This is the exit. You can't exit until we get all the gate orbs. We have the green one so far. There's two more around here. Actually, I think that... No, we have the yellow one. Is that the yellow one? I don't remember. I never even saw it. The aliens ripper. Um, okay, most of the alien weapons you get, they make you take damage. Which is a nice concept, if not for the fact that this game is just what the balls hard. Especially when these guys up ahead can see you through metal bars when you're a million miles away. I think uh, that's everyone. Oh, whoops. This game is just... Whoa. The crap, what's hitting me? That's just it. Enemies are so blatantly placed that you can't tell what you're hitting 
or who's hitting you. And the game glitches most of the time. SD did not do a very good job. This had to be one of their earlier games. This has been another pointless room. Except for the fact that there's a gate like right there. I never used this weapon once. I'll show you its usefulness when we get to the next foe, which would be right up here. Oh, sound effect. Oh look! It's a thing! Oh look at him, he's so menacing. Oh crap! You don't want to fire this gun because it fires a fireball that then bursts into a million things and kills everything in sight, including yourself. Basically this weapon does this. It's, it's useless compared to this. Who made this music? I'd love to know. So I could ask him, what kind of um, people inspired you to make video game music? And if he says Bobby Prince, I'm going to accuse him of being a liar. This has been another pointless room. Unless you want a med kit, which would be useful. So, I guess that's not another pointless room, right? Red door. It's very easy to get lost in this game for the simple fact that everything looks the same. Allow me to mow this guy down. And it lags. And the end key is jump. The end key. Your hands could not be more spaced out. Okay, so apparently this game wants you to play it with the numpad. Okay. Press home for an upright position. Ouch! What the hell hit me? Oh, hi! Hi! <laughs> Hold on a sec. Enter also fire. Okay, so this is... Okay, it even feels bad on the numpad. Forget the numpad. Oh, hi. I love that they can see me through metal bars, but they can't see me through that. Hi! Yeah, you died, dumbass. Jump! And get the spiky balls. Yeah, now we have spiky balls. Those are always fun. Uh, holy crap! I forgot about you guys. Those guys are so annoying. They can just mow you down. And now I have the max amount of life. Which means it's time to save after we fight this guy. Yes, I remember this guy. He killed me many a time! It did help if I could see him. Thank you. It'll also help with the escape key work, but it doesn't! Also, the audio always comes to sync every time I record this. Now we're going to the going of the Feast of Pyre. Which is not in any way related to the book, The Taming of Pyre. Which was an interesting read for me. It was my first book that I read that had multiple things and alternate endings and, you know, different paths. Which was an interesting kind of story. Shredders. Too bad I'll never use the shredder for the rest of the game. I used to go, hey, buddy, you're dead. Hey, guess what, you guys? You're dead. You're dead. You're all dead. No, 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 no. You're not glitching out on me. It's a stupid freaking game. Now I'm wasting half of my freaking fajita maker ammo. At least I have a bunch of blaster ammo. And I guess this weapon has its uses. I'll stick with the blaster for now because it's useful. This probably took me forever. Did I have all the gate orbs? Yes! I'm home free! Ah! Can't, where am I? Luckily I memorized this place. Let's take a look at that lot of Is that anywhere near useful to you? Of course not. Also, when it saw me on the map, I feel like I'm walking like I'm drunk. Okay! Oh, I did like... What's next? Starting mission number two. Mission number two has good music. And by good music, I mean it's not that great, but it's memorable. Somehow to me. Rightio then, I'm gonna call that one part. 
after this strenuous exercise and what the hell was I thinking, lad? I will see you all.